So I wanted to come on here and um, share some thoughts. What's up everyone and welcome back to my channel. As we are still mourning the death of Cedric McMillan who passed away recently, I wanted you guys to hear an account of his best friend Phil Heath and what he had to say about their relationship. Um, he said in his own words that, you know, his hurt definitely hurts and, you know, he celebrates him for the man that he was to, to Phil and others. So he says that, Meeting Cedric back in the day was so cool because he found it so great to see a physique which he felt was worthy of amassing many top championships. And so they traveled around together and Phil describes their traveling experience as always special because Cedric would typically be the one who would have no qualms about cracking jokes, making everyone lighten up. And so seeing him compete and also share the stage together was so cool. And he also says that he will always remember his positive energy, no matter what he was dealing with. Cedric always had positive energy. So let's have a listen to the rest of the condolence tribute from his best friend. So I wanted to come on here and um, share some thoughts about uh, my brother from another subject right now. Um, just found out yesterday some terrible news that he had passed and uh, he has ascended. But, uh, you know, I just, I can't, I can't, it's very hard to accept, to say the least. And I want to come on here to celebrate him. Um, you know, questions of why and how doesn't really matter. Uh, what matters is that um, no matter what pain he was going through, um, he should not have that any longer. And I want to celebrate him because he's a he's a man who I remember watching at the NPC Nationals. I remember seeing him pose, and I was just like, this guy done smoked the whole show, um, and countless other uh, pros and the IPB felt the same. Um, there was uh, just him. Don't remember anyone else in that contest. And uh, I remember knowing that I would be seeing him on a competitive stage real soon. And I remember him getting with uh, Team Muscle Tech. And he came to the Mountain Classic with Jay and myself uh, one year. And he was like all about being up there with us and I and I remember having to remind him I was like bro <laughs> take it from me um, you got some dues to be paid and uh, he didn't like that so much <laughs> but he understood what I meant uh, because of what I went through just climbing up the ranks and and uh, you know he just had a very strong competitive spirit and I really embraced that very well because as you guys know I'm very competitive my damn self but that's why um, losing him has been so tough because, you know, this is a man who was in the role of leadership for our United States Army and encouraging men and women who defend our freedom to do just that. Uh, he was a very hard worker, he went against a tremendous amount of adversity, but one of the biggest things that I, I, I could say about Cedric is that he did it his way. People will say, oh, he needs to be more conditioned or he needs to be this. He, he was like, man, I'm doing what I like, what I feel is real bodybuilding to me. And that takes a lot of guts because we are all trying to cha uh, challenge ourselves to become that, that vision where judges will appreciate and reward. And he was very much rewarded for his efforts um, winning various contests, including the Arnold Schwarzenegger Classic. Um, having people like Schwarzenegger, I mean, I didn't even win that show in Columbus. And him being able to get the respect amongst us all, but especially people like Lee Haney, Arnold, countless times. Anyone that's a fan of Cedric knows that like Arnold <laughs> loved him. And I just want to offer my most sincere condolences to his family. Uh, I know you guys are dealing with it, going through it. Um, 
part of Inland Community, definitely lost someone special. Um, Cedric was a prankster, man, and I, <laughs> this is a guy that would send me DM jokes and stuff and share videos and whatnot backstage at the freaking Olympia. You know, I'm, I'm gonna miss being on tour with him. I'm gonna miss seeing those late night gym sessions in different parts of the world. I'm gonna miss that laugh. I'm gonna miss that, that, um, his essence, his competitive spirit. And I know he was dealing with a lot of pain. And I just continuously pray that his family, his friends, obviously the fans, you guys, can just uh, continue to mourn, but to, but to celebrate him for the man he really is. And that is a champion. That is a person who loved everybody and he wanted to share his quote unquote gift with the world. And we lost a really good one. We lost a lot. But I know uh, in my faith, that the Lord has someone very, very strong up there. So, rest in power, my friend. See you on the other side. And that was a beautiful tribute from Phil Heath, who is Cedric's best friend. He, one thing I picked up from his tribute is that he, he constantly talked about the love for Cedric's competitive spirit and how he was such a beautiful person to everyone that he came across, which was such a rare thing to find within the bodybuilding brotherhood. Um, you know, he talks about that his heart aches and he knows that God makes no mistakes. And although he was upset that Cedric is no longer with us, he wanted him to know that he has imprinted something positive within us. And that's such a beautiful message, you know, for someone to to know that you have had a massive impact on your colleagues on the rest of the world so um phil thank you so much for that beautiful tribute you know our condolences go out to you our condolences go out to cedric's family and friends and may his soul rest in peace thank you for sharing this wonderful amazing heartfelt tribute and guys thank you so much for watching please leave a comment and i'll see you in the next video